here's how John McEnroe got to the final. Dalswell in straight sets easily, then beat Edberg straight sets, Moyer straight sets, and of course the one really tough match yesterday against Jimmy Connors last night, 6-3 in the fifth set. A seesaw battle, anyone could have won it. And here's how Yvonne Lindell made it. Well, Lindell, uh, a few problems along the way there, lost a set to Eddie Edwards. And then that match yesterday, 7-6 in the fifth set. Gee, he came back, uh, as I said a while ago, thought he was down and out. On McEnroe to serve. Ready? Cash had a match point. Lindell Light. came up with that fabulous lob. Anyway, that's yesterday. That's uh, history. This is today. I think we're going to see some offensive lobs by Lendl because he knows McEnroe likes to close in as well. Yesterday, indeed, was history. First it was great serve. to be a part of it. Well, we saw yesterday Connors used the offensive lob very effectively against McEnroe when he closed in on the net. And Lendl did against Cash as well. against Love. Connors last night. And that's a lot against anybody, but against someone who returns as well as Connors, it really is a lot. That was interesting. Well, he lost, he lost, lost that completely, didn't he? It came straight at him. Well, he's coming out of the shadow into the sunlight, and sometimes that quick adjustment is very difficult. McEnroe holds a 10-9 lifetime lead over Lendl. Perfect. Thirty all. They've had unusual uh, career against one another, haven't they? McEnroe dominated early, and then Lendl won about seven in a row. And McEnroe came back, and he's dominated later. Forty, thirty. It's a good deep second serve for this early in the match. And Lendl is standing on the baseline or inside. He was well inside the baseline trying to return that second serve. He normally stands way back because he wants to take a big swing, have time to swing at it. So he's standing in closer, walking forward. Gay okay, McEnroe, he went. McEnroe holds. After that tough match against Connors, we asked McEnroe about Lendl. Here's what he had to Well, I didn't think that uh, Lendl played all that great, though, but he, hit, he certainly hit the great shots when he needed to at the end. But... Uh, the pressure might be off him a little bit because he's gone to the finals now and uh, he doesn't have that much to lose. Of course, you know, he, he'd like to win this tournament, but I, I would say that I'm the favorite. Well, I'm going to play a similar type of game that I played in the French. I'm going to attack him and come in on him and make him hit winners and uh, play an attacking game on my part. But, uh, you know, it depends on if he serves as badly as he did today, I think that uh, I'll have a good chance. If I serve as well or better than I did today. I mean, you know, he doesn't have the return that Jimmy does. Just to conserve as much as I can and just try to concentrate and get it over with as soon as possible. Just really go out there and just try my best right off and hope that that's good enough. Into the net. Oh! The forehand down the line that we were talking about Lala, is 15. Yvonne's favorite shot. And that time, why he missed the shot, he wanted to hit it there. McEnroe just stood there. <laughs> he didn't go anywhere. He went right uh, to the line. McEnroe just stood there and said, I know you're going to hit it here. So he hit it out. Surprised to see Lindell at the net so quickly. 15, 15 all. off. Oh. 
30-15. Those of you who've been watching the Eagles beat the Vikings 19-17, welcome to the men's final at the U.S. Open, the National Tennis Center. McEnroe against Yvonne Lindo. McEnroe won the first game. On his serve, Lindo leads now serving 40-15. Service game by Lindell. One game off. Those of you who missed McEnroe's comments, he said after he finished so late last night in his tough match against Connors that he's going out and going for it right from the beginning to his very best right from the start. Make it as short as possible. He made those comments, comments, excuse me, at the press conference, at his press conference last night. Left. Very effective serve, lefty to righty, particularly when a fellow's going to take a big looping backswing, that tight went into the body. Lendl stepped around, tried it a four, and the ball keeps cutting into his body. Good lob. <laughs> Missed it. Gee, he made a good lob out of that, didn't he, from a... Very tough position. I think he wanted to drive it at the start, then realized it was got behind him and McEnroe was covering the passing shot. That's what we call a defensive lob, when you put it up high in the air and just try to get the person back from the net. Offensive lob is when you're trying to get it over their head for a winner. That's low trajectory kind. Quiet, please. Those of you who watched the Lions beat the Falcons in overtime 27-24. 15-30. We're at the National Tennis Center for the men's singles final. McEnroe and Lindell tied at a game apiece. McEnroe serving at 15-30. Pat Summerall with Tony Trabert and John Newcomb. This is the first uh, real test. It's only early in the match. Let's see where McEnroe elects to serve this ball. 15-30 point, of course, is a much bigger point than if you were leading 30-15, so you would tend to try to go to the other player's weakness. That's a weakness. That's McEnroe's second eight. On a second serve, 15-30 oh. down, that's a, that's a pretty, pretty brave effort. It also says that he respects the return of serve of Lendl. He can't just cripple it in because he knows Yvonne will knock it right past him. He's gone to the body on the forehand side here three or four times already. On the second serve. Oh! 40-30. Looks as though he wants to keep that second serve very tight around the body, Tony, whether mm -hmm. it's on his forehand or backhand. Lendl leads Macro three matches to one when they played on a cement court similar to this. That's rather surprising, isn't it? That was immense. I think that one period when Lendl was dominating McEnroe. Dish. That's his first double fault. And it's back at Deuce. using a 
machine, Cyclops they call it, to call the service line. They also have a lines person there as well. At Vantage, McEnroe. There's the machine. And that uh, Cyclops covers an area about 12 inches behind the service line. And if it hits in that area, it beeps. If it hits beyond that area, it does not beep. So it's up to the lines person to call a fault. That's where we've had a few problems in the past. Please, please. Right now, McEnroe's having a problem with somebody in the stands. interested to see if Lendl tries to pass cross court off the backhand more because he normally goes down the line. I was just going to say, if he keeps that up all day, he's going to make you a believer in his cross court backhand passing shot. Advantage, McEnroe. Three aces for John. York City in the back down. Lindell. Well, that's pretty good to take that first serve and get into the net behind it. That one took me by surprise. I, we saw him doing it to Connors last night, but Lindell has a harder first serve than Connors. Let's check out what happened today in the NFL. The Cardinals rolled over Buffalo 37-7. The Bears won again 27-0. Kansas City beat Cincinnati 27-22. Miami over New England 28-7. More in a minute. 30 love. Wendell serving. The Giants upset Dallas 28-7. In overtime, it was Detroit 27-24 of Atlanta. Philadelphia beat Minnesota 19-17. New Orleans over Tampa Bay 17-13. And so far, you're up to date. And Lendl serving at 40, love. Lendl seems as though he's going to go after his second serve to stop McEnroe chipping and charging the net, if he can. And also, he appeared anxious to get to the net when he got a short ball. He did. He, and, and again, typically of Lendl, when he comes in, he comes in on a good approach shot, so it makes the volleying pretty, pretty easy. He closed in very well, smartly on that one. 2-2. Two -two. match against Cash yesterday, five-setter, Lindell came to the net 35 times, won 19 points. Against Connors yesterday and last night, McEnroe came to the net 138 mm. times, won 72 points. I remember we were getting tired counting. <laughs> McEnroe is obviously going to be the one that comes in more, but Lendl can't give him the net. Can't just let him occupy it by himself. Otherwise, he's not going to win. His court surface is a medium-fast pace. 
The person who gets to the net first has the advantage. Fifteen off. Mr. and Mrs. McEnroe. Nuke, would you say that the, the balls are fast? I hear the players talking about that. Yeah, I, I think they're too fast. They're using the regular duty balls, not the heavy duty. The heavy, heavy duty have a slightly uh, heavier cloth on it. Right. Wait, please. The reason they did that was because the women are playing with the regular duty and they didn't want to get mixed up, I guess, with the mixed doubles and everything. But most of the men would prefer the heavy duty. <laughs> Fifteen. Not too many empty seats. I don't see any. <laughs> <laughs> this is the toughest ticket there is. Friday, Saturday, and sun I Sunday. I thought you spotted some. I was going to run outside and sell it. <laughs> Not too late. another look and see Macro sort of guides his forehand volley doesn't really put much on it he doesn't think Wendell can get there when he gets there he certainly doesn't think he can do this see him covering down the line way over there's an isolation see the good flick of the wrist Wendell's standing there his job is done he didn't make that shot I mean if it wasn't a good lob he's finished anyway that's tremendous sir that was interesting where McEnroe was standing at the net. He, he was giving him the cross court, completely blanketing the down the line pass. Forty. That's that serve 30. again. Just jammed to his body. set. John McEnroe leading Yvonne Lindell 3-2. Lindell about to serve to try to get even. Fifteen love. Again McEnroe was trying to take that return and move to the net but Lindell anticipating it was serving and volleying himself. A little game of cat, cat and mouse going on out there right now. played that approach shot well. Didn't take a big backswing for control and just really hit it with a lot of good pace, placed it well. First serve percentage thus far. Lendl 55, McEnroe 45. Lendl appears to have pretty good rhythm on his serve today as against yesterday. when they get into a rally, McEnroe is pointing 30. from the baseline or inside the baseline when they're having a, a rally to one another from the back of the court. Lendl is about five or six feet behind the baseline. McEnroe constantly looking for that ball to attack the net behind. Thirty off. Stasi has joined us in the booth. In case we get into an argument uh, <laughs> down on the court, he can explain the rules to us. <laughs> yeah, he got married yesterday. 
a heck of a place to spend your honeymoon. It is if you can get away with it. Break point for McEnroe. First break point 30, of the match. 40. 30 40. Yes, properly, but just couldn't handle the shot. It came to us so close, McEnroe was, and hit it so hard that Yvonne's volley popped up in the air, and the rest was academic. So McEnroe has the first break of the match, serving at 4-2. McEnroe and Connors had a couple of those exchanges at the net last night. He couldn't even see the ball. <laughs> Now, that's the one where McEnroe's got to get over to cover the down the line. There's no other place that Lendl could even possibly try to hit the ball because he's going to be so late getting to it. First serve. Love. Yvonne Lendl looks much, much more relaxed than he was the last couple of years in the finals. He's been in enough of them now. First serve. And as he said, he got the monkey off his back by winning the Grand Slam at the French Open, Grand Slam tournament. It was a pretty hard road, though. He had oh, to yeah. Do to, to win it. Two he, sets to love then. He was so, so excited and caught up in the situation that he actually threw up a little bit after the match. That's his nerves were such, but it was a great thing for him to win that one. He was a very heavy monkey. Well, like you said, he got tired of answering those questions. Why can't you win the finals of a Grand Slam event? Martina went through that. Why can't you win the Open? Now they don't ask her those questions anymore. Nope. 40 love. 40 love, McEnroe. He leads 4-2, first set. Lindell may not stay that relaxed much longer. <laughs> Ranked number one the last three years, John McEnroe. Of course, won this event three years in a row, 79, 80, and 81. First set, Lendl about to serve. Fifteen left. Third ace by Yvonne. The way these guys serve and play, one service break can be crucial. First set. What? When you have someone that's not really a great server, you have a chance to break your serve more often. Beautiful day. Mm. It's been a beautiful two weeks. How beautiful and how nice it is. Forecast is clear. Wind south seven miles an hour. A temperature of an ideal 75 degrees. And the wind is no real factor. Especially is, not down there. Right. Good for the players. 40. 15. He's going to have to get a lot of first serves in today, Lindell. 
Washington. He was coming in behind that one, too, which I think is mm -hmm. smart. Every time he misses that first serve, he's in trouble. He's up 40-15. Let's see what happens to this one. That's what happened. McEnroe's on top of the net immediately. The Raiders over Green Bay, 7-0. That's in the second quarter. Be a lot of points scored in that one. Game, Lendl. That makes it 5-3 McEnroe in the first. If he is fatigued in any McEnroe way after that tough match five, last three. night against Connors, it doesn't show so far. I think the main concern was, was his, whether his leg was okay, and, and uh, Bill Norris, the trainer, said that his hamstring tightened up a little bit and it affected him a little bit below the knee, but, but he worked on him this morning, and he's fine. Both players, 100%. Amazing how fast a young body heals. Forehand on his second serve. That's 15. Lendl's forehand Love. is one of his big weapons. Checking some scores. Houston 14. The Indianapolis Colts 7. Rams and Cleveland tied at 7. Second quarter. San Diego up over Seattle 10 0. Wonder how Franco's going to do in that. He hasn't scored a touchdown yet. 30 love. How'd you know that? Been around the game a long time. <laughs> First serve. First serve. Forty love. And triple set point. For John McEnroe. Thirty-five minutes have elapsed so far in this men's final. There wasn't a lot to that first set, was there? Just, just that one service break. That's right. And, you know, I, I keep saying lightning because you go along, cruise along, running, holding serve, and all of a sudden, bingo, a few mistakes and it's over. It's a great stretch from McEnroe there. You know, it could be, Nick, uh, to think about what happened here yesterday in the great tennis that we saw. It could be we were just spoiled. 164 games were played on the center court yesterday, plus two tiebreakers. We had most of that on television. Just the first set and a half of years, Nick, was not on the air. It was part of that 164 games. That's a lot of tennis. It was all very good. McEnroe, by the way, Nuke says it was your fault that he had to wait so long to play. I, I heard his press conference. <laughs> <laughs> I knew I'd get the blame there somewhere. 30-15. Just over. Roll them here! Oh, that's cute. <laughs> he misses He misses the ball over the baseline. He says the baseline's one whose ball grows some hair. He takes it out on the... Why? Takes it out on the baseline's one because he missed the lump. <laughs> I guarantee you, John, the guy would if he could. 
Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> That's one of the funniest things I've ever heard. <laughs> with more tennis action after this word from your local station. Love 30. Love 30, double fault. First real chance for Lendl here. He did have a 15-30 game on McEnroe's serve in the first set. Couldn't take advantage of it. Matter of fact, McEnroe served an ace on the second serve. It's just where McEnroe seems to be able to reach back and get it when he needs it. Straight at the body on 15, the back end side. Uh, 30. Lendl's got to be looking for that again now. One of the ways you try to handle that is, is start in a little different position from the return and slide along the baseline, so sort of be a moving target. Don't get yourself way out of position, but move a little bit laterally. Hit! You should be able to get a swing at this one. Hit! Second serve. Swing at it. 40. 15 40. Two double faults in this game. Double break point. From Lendl's point of view, he must take advantage of this game and try to break. He's not going to get too many chances to break serve. Especially being presented with a double fault at 15 30. that McEnroe has. Yeah, he did a 360. Paul well, Bull almost came back and, and ran into him, didn't yeah. he? Mm -hmm. Still break point for Lendl. <laughs> Great attendance Dude. throughout this U.S. Open. And the most ever anywhere. Yep. Any tournament. Prize money is not too bad either. $160,000 to the winner of this event, $80,000 to the runner up. You can ride first class for a while. Funny, I was thinking about gas money. There's the total attendance over $431,000. Short in the court. Advantage back McEnroe. house today. Yesterday, Lendl didn't time his forehand that great. And Game McEnroe. Lendl had his chances, but McEnroe gets even at one all, second set. One game off. As I said a while ago, you're not going to get too many chances against a guy like McEnroe, and you better try to take it, advantage of them. Probably a little unlucky there with that net cord. Yeah, he, he really nailed that one. If that had been over the net, I don't know what McEnroe would have done with it, but it was a little bit unlucky for the check. Right, please. Right, please. but it was out. Uh, the lady on the line there had a really good look at it, 
before she called. Yeah, she was a little tentative. That's what uh, McEnroe is looking at there. There's forehand. McEnroe stayed in that corner. Now let's see if we can tell. Well, let her go. I don't know. It's tough looked, to tell. Tough to tell, but it looked like it was on the line. Thirty, love. He just yelled his ladies. <laughs> I guess because she's got lots of hair, she can't say anything to her. <laughs> Macro doesn't want to discriminate, you know. He's going to pick on the ladies and the men. No, only bald men. <laughs> and ball boy, well, we'll see. It's early. No bald, fair bald men, not ball boys. That's a good approach shot. 30, 15. Right down the middle of the court. Three or four inches from the line. Gave Lendl absolutely no angle to work with. to get in if he can up the serve not too tough Unless you hit a perfect shot he managed to get there because he's so fast and got those great hands he can soften up the volleys when he has to he could pull extra on them he missed oh, that's it a bad one missed it oh man oh man Dude. oh it wasn't even close wasn't even close McEnroe's right about this one to be upset. Jack Nicholson watching the tennis. Have a nice chat with Quiet, him. please. Here's another look at it. Well, his body blocked out most of our view, but yeah. you can still see it was out. It was a good six inches out. Quiet, please. Not that far, maybe. <laughs> I wonder what he's going to say to the, his friend on the baseline. <laughs> the one he made the comment to before. That's a bad break, brother. That was a break point. Put him up 2-1 with a break. Fifteen love. 
Serve. At the change of ends, then they changed all the lines people on the court, a whole new bunch. Do they have a time for that, you know, Tony? Yeah, they, they do. 45 they, minutes or something? Yeah, they, I think they do it just about every hour, I believe. It's a little less than an hour now. I think it's as close to an hour as they think they can get on a court change. Next 30. Saturday. CBS Sports presents college football, the Washington Huskies against Michigan, upset number one ranked Miami yesterday, live at noon Eastern time. We're live right now at the National Tennis Center in a packed stadium for the men's final between John McEnroe and Yvonne Lendl. McEnroe has won the first set. 15. He just served his fourth double fault. Lendl is up 2-1 in the second set. McEnroe served two doubles in his last service game, was down two break points, then played four great points to get out of it. Third to beat. Yes. Yes. Beat went on. Yes, it did. Yes, it did, John. The beat did go off. Some amazing things with that racket. 40, 15. It's a play that I think players could do more frequently. When you got an opponent in the corner, they normally have to get out of there to try to cover the cross court shot. You go in behind them, they have to stop, turn around, get the racket ready, and make a swing. That's pretty tough. This is the first 30. real forehand return that Lendl has timed with any certainty. Good cross court backhand. Mac, lots of top spin. It was short though, yeah. volley. Yeah, very short. Twelve winners for Lendl, eleven for McEnroe. <laughs> think it might be with his forehand that he's mistiming so many of them and there was that one forehand yesterday that he absolutely choked on hit on the throat yeah i think he's not looking at it frankly he's sort of peeking a little bit trying to see where he's going to hit it i think about the mechanics a little bit more i wonder if the time of day has anything to do with it well there's nothing wrong with this time of day he's seeing as well i know it does could be a little more difficult well he's got shadows on one part of the court Fifteen. The lights are on, by the way. So when the transition time does come between daylight and darkness, it will be more gentle. Oh, he might have missed it. Yeah, that was very risky to smash it like that. Oh. of depth. Times at net. Lindell in the semifinal, 13 to 9. And today already, just in the second set, it's been 13 times. Change in tactic. Oh, that's a terrific shot. Master right in front of his parents. 15. That one was time. <laughs> Let's pull the trigger. <laughs> Great 
two. Lendl leads in the second set. Lendl leads. Three. John McEnroe set to serve, trailing three two in the second set. McEnroe in the first set six three. Fifteen love. Thirty love. John and Chris. Lloyd. I I have not seen Chris more disappointed. A long, long time than she was yesterday at that match, and she was quoted as saying later that when you get that that close to Martina and in a match and get that kind of a shot, you really want to take advantage of it. And she thought she played well. She was terribly disappointed, and what a wonderful match it was. She did play well. Oh, 30, 15. Lost that one completely. Don't forget next Saturday. On Sports Saturday, WBC World Super Welterweight Championship, Thomas Hearns against Fred Hutchings. Woodward and the Futurity Stakes, 3.30 p.m. Eastern Time. The Hitman, Thomas Hearns. Oh. Duran to sleep. Second round, wasn't it? Yes. Oh, what, what a beautiful turn. shot. Lendl started to hit out on a few off. more balls. This one, you can see when he got the swinging room, a lot of the time McEnroe's been serving at his body, not giving him room to swing. I guess that's why he's serving at his body. <laughs> when he gives him swinging room, look out. 40, 30. McEnroe uses his servers, I think, as well as anyone I've ever seen in tennis. The, I guess just like a, a good baseball pitcher, keeps changing it up, the direction, the pace, spin. And Used it pretty well. Game to McEnroe. That's his sixth ace. And it's 3-3 in the second. It's also three. very hard oh. to pick the direction that McEnroe is going to serve. Rod Laver in the back in the red. On the left, the hat, Fred Perry and his wife, Bobby. Don Budge and his wife, Lori. Frankie Parker. Behind Virginia Wade. Big Jake Kramer. Ty. What a group we've got of former left. champions. Big Satius, Althea Gibson. All enjoying the tennis. Most of them stuck it out for the 11 plus hours yesterday. A lot of people did. 15 all. Oh. It's really nice how the USTA brings, uh, you know, gives them the tickets to come to the matches and mm -hmm. all that. Never used to do that in the past, did they? No. Stan Molest is the same thing at the National Clay Court Championships in Indianapolis. Wendell serving 3-3. Three, three. Thirty, fifteen. Talked about uh, how important it is for Lendl to get his first serve into play. He's winning every time his first serve goes in. He's winning 72% of those points. Forty, fifteen. Before this game, he was averaging 60% of his first serves into play. Thirty. Still amazes me how he does that. He takes the first serve and no backswing on his approach shot, just sort of stabs it out in front. But and the racket, loose, loose racket, loose lead, about 42 pounds. I guess that helps him to do it. I don't know how he controls it so well. Though.
dish. The book on Lendl off the backhand side as he passes down the line, but early in the match he went cross court several times, and that time Macro was not cheating down the line. He was going up the middle and hoping he could pick it. And Lendl made it. Macro wasn't even close. Line. Return of serve, setting it up. Lendl caught down at his feet, having to just scoop the ball up. Lendl's, Opening was there. Lendl's really starting the other way. Break point. Oh. Yeah, McEnroe faked him out well on that one. Looked like he was going to go down the line. Yeah. McEnroe quickly breaks Lendl. Leads 4-3 in the second. Won the first 6-3. Men's final, McEnroe and Lendl. McEnroe coming off a service break. About to serve. <laughs> 15 love. First time they've played since that five-set final in the French Open. I was there and watched the whole thing. Good. You but said he got tired in that he, final. He did get tired. Watch this right here. Just hands. Yep. But look where the ball went. It's back live at 30 love. 40 love. Lendl's being forced into a six. Times at net. Percentage of points one. The semifinal match for McEnroe 52. Today 64. Those statistics come courtesy of the Burroughs Corporation. All of ours have throughout the tournament. Yeah, McEnroe. McEnroe leads 5-3. I was going to say, Pat, that Lendl is being forced into a situation where McEnroe is putting such pressure on him that he's having to come up with unbelievable shots to win points. I don't know how he gets out of this vice. 15 love. It's like he's being squeezed and um, there's no escape. Serving like that will help. know anything about it 30 love I like you like the way he turned around and walked away like <laughs> take that <laughs> walked away while the ball was still bouncing that's right checking out some scores in the NFL Cleveland and the Rams 30, tied at 10 10 second quarter Indianapolis Colts 21-14 over Houston. Green Bay and the Raiders now tied at 7-7. And San Diego 10-7 over Seattle. What do you do? The last point he says, well, I'll, I'll serve and volley. Change my tactics? Oh, okay, I won't serve and volley. <laughs> He's Lendl's trying everything. <laughs> 40, 30. In the French championships in the finals, McEnroe won the first two sets, 6-3, six, 6-2. Six, and everybody just shaking their heads how well he played. Then Lendl came back and won 6-4, 7-5, six, 7-5. Seven, five, seven, five. So I know both players are aware of. Well, remember that one. Five. I can row about to serve. 
15 loves. Serving for the set. He won the first set. I guess uh, Lendl could say, well, I've been here before and I've got out of it and won, but that was on the slow clay courts at Roland Garros Stadium in Paris. He could say that, but he'd like to get out of it right now. <laughs> he'd rather not be down to this look. Just thinking back to that game early in this set, 15-40, he had McEnroe on the serve. 30 love. 40, 40 love. love. Three set points. in the history of tennis. I've never seen anything like it anywhere. Lindell serving. Love 15. nature to do it, Ivan Lendl, but I think he's got to just start serving and volleying and take a shot at it. Well, he's tried it more than normal already. That's right. You've got to get that first serve in. serve percentage for Lindell is 66%. Really not that bad as hard as he goes at it. McEnroe 57. <laughs> 30 off. Not comfortable down on the low no. volley at all, is he? Well, he had that western sort of grip on the forehand and it makes it a very flat type volley. It's fine on the high ones, but tougher on the low ones. Not, not used to being 40. there. Gotta give McEnroe so much credit. He's he's forcing Lindell to play a game that he doesn't a, like to a play. Different kind of game, yeah. right? Because McEnroe is playing so well. right now like Nuke mentioned there's he's tried a lot of different things and none of it's really worked. Well he doesn't really have a game plan does he? I mean he's sometimes he's serving and volleying and then 
that works for a while and it doesn't work, so she says, I better stay back. And when he stays back, McEnroe comes in. He's trying to counteract what Macro's doing. I really have to wonder, wonder what can he do? McEnroe's playing so well. He has to figure out, I guess, what does he do, what does he do best? That's that's stay back, rally, make passing shots. That's what he really does best against most people. That's not most people. <laughs> First serve. Fifteen. Tough one to let go by. Yeah, when you got a guy hung up in the bleachers. I think when you're on a roll like uh, like Mac is at the moment, you <laughs> everything works. Everything works. Yeah. Times at the net. Points one. Twenty nine out of forty four for Macro. Fourteen out of twenty three for Lendl. Cross-court backhand. Yep. 40, 30. Shoot bullets, but they got to go in. That's about how he is winning his points, too. That's right. He does something great. Game McEnroe. Game to McEnroe, nevertheless. McEnroe leads. One thing Lendl has done on his serve, because of that pressure of McEnroe coming in on his second serve, he's taken some of the pace off his first serve, and that's t in a way that's taken away one of his big weapons. Right, that's more a three-quarter pace first serve that he's Love. using now to try to serve and volley. done that for the tournament yet? I, I maybe don't know, the first. but <laughs> do you see McEnroe the step in early, use the speed on the ball, just almost block it cross court. No big swing at it. <laughs> Close to awesome. It's just great play. at it 40 30 I can watch him he'll close in waiting for the down the line forehand please go out no way Whoa! let's just have a look at McEnroe down the other end of the court how he moves in standing on the baseline at the moment and start moving forward Take, taking the ball yes. so early and then just I mean, he's just cutting off the court. Hips down on it almost. Oh. That's good. 
edging up. Started in, went back. Add advantage, Lando. It's one of the few miss hits. Mm -hmm. I guess what you do in this situation, Tony, you just hang in there as long as you can and stay on the court and hope the guy cools off a little bit. You never know. No, that's right. They serve can go off, could miss a few as, shots. As you said at the French, everybody's shaking their head thinking that's the end of the match. Yep. I know a lot of people were watching in Australia, they, they went to bed because it was late at night. It was about one o'clock, two o'clock in the morning, they went to bed. woke up in the morning and they were mad with themselves because they missed one of the great matches of all time. Yep. Deuce. It'd go down as one of the great comebacks of all time, wouldn't it? Would have final? to. Have to. <laughs> Advantage. Blendle. and encouraging Yvonne Lindell. He's probably thinking, where were you yesterday when I needed you? Hmm. <laughs> they were all getting behind the underdog cash. Right. Really just jumping on that well, second serve. Yvonne sort of smiling as if to say, well, what do you want me to do? Great point for John McEnroe. Advantage McEnroe. Winners 25-20 in favor of McEnroe. Quiet, please. Bit of pressure on this session, sir. <laughs> I got a feeling he's gonna serve to the backhand, not the forehand this time. Dead. Second oh. serve. Two service breaks, serving at three love. Service breaks to serve a big weapon, obviously, for McEnroe. 15 love. Tony, I know you've written a book about the serve and what a key it is to winning tennis. In fact, that's the name of the book, isn't it? Uh, it is. It's coming out shortly, and, and you know, it's it starts everything, and if you serve well, McEnroe's a great example. You... Policy. That's exactly what John McEnroe has done. Dictate everything. Forty love. On good friends. He's very really disappointed at this stage for his pal. Even if he, Yvonne Lemon did not win, he can hold his head up third time in a year, three times in a row in the finals. 
Game McEnroe. Game McEnroe, and he's just playing too well. McEnroe leads. On in admiration, I'm sure. Uh, and I'm sure some apprehension because they too are in Paris. Quiet, please. Things were looking so good, and all of a sudden the bottom dropped out. Doesn't look like that's going to happen here, though. Things are going to happen pretty quick. Out. 15, love. McEnroe could still be on a roll from last night. Certainly 30. lifted his game another notch this year from the year before. Well, you pointed out last night when he was playing against Jimmy Connors, when they got started in the fifth set, he seemed to just change gear, move it up Moved another it. level. Suddenly went into overdrive. which is pretty hard to love. imagine that he could have because they're playing unbelievable tennis out there for four sets and suddenly he raised his game a, another level. Yeah, you really have to take your hat off to the winners, but also those that didn't win who fought so hard, so valiantly, and was so close. <laughs> a Pat Cash, Chris <laughs> Everett Lloyd, Jimmy Connors. That's the first double fault for Yvonne Lindell. Does he have an ace yet? Yeah, he yes. has three. Three. That's low for him. Normally he serves more than that. But again, McEnroe has made him take some speed off that first serve to get more men. Bro serving 4 1. Third set. Wendell missed it down the line. Still to come this afternoon. 15 left. The rest of this match, of course. Then the championship presentation. The NFL today scores and highlights of what happened around the NFL. And some of the women's doubles final. Martina Navratilova back on the court. That'll be on tape. 4-1 lead is pretty huge with two service breaks. 30 love. Lindell having a look. He's not sure whether that was in or out, but... He's also what smiling a, to himself yeah. and saying, what on earth do I have to do to win a he point? Just, he hit an unbelievable return then. <laughs> Never even saw the volley. <laughs> And normally when you hit that that strong a return, you at least get a swing at another ball. That's right. <laughs> 30-15. that's McEnroe's sixth double fault. That's a lot. He served eight aces and six double faults. They almost negate one another. You think McEnroe can play better next year than this year? He thinks so. He's very candid in saying, when I play my best, I don't think anyone can beat me. But he also knows that he doesn't always play his best. He has lost twice in 1984, in the French final to Lendl, and in the ATP championships in Cincinnati to VJ Omri Traj. 65 and 2 up to this point. Starting hard to his right, has to change directions. There wasn't much he could do when he got there. No. 40-15. McEnroe, change balls, please. 5-1. McEnroe 
McEnroe in the third. McEnroe leads. Won the first set 6-3. Won the second set 6-4. You know, it's interesting to me that when you look in the record books and people talk about great matches, they're between two great players in a big event and it's normally right, a close please, match. But a lot of times, some player may play great tennis and if there's a blowout in effect, the scores aren't close, so they don't. it doesn't go down as a terrific match. I think Wimbledon final was one of those. Yeah, someone said to me, wasn't it disappointing? I said, if you watch the match, you, you had a treat. And if you something exceptional. And if you understand the game. 1-5. 15 love. This is similar. McEnroe served better at Wimbledon in the final than he has, has today. If you can believe that. Did he volley any better? No, I don't think so. really held that one, sort of waited to see which way Lendl was going to go. Looks as if Yvonne has just about resigned himself to what's going to happen to it. He's trying his best. Fifteen, thirty. Tony Trabert. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, could we have your attention a moment, please? First of all, how about a nice round of applause for our, our runner-up and champion, Yvonne Lendl and John McEnroe. To make the first presentation, it's a pleasure to introduce the first vice president of the USTA, Mr. Randy Gregson. Yvonne, on behalf of the United States Tennis Association, it's my pleasure to award you a silver ball emblematic of being a finalist in a national championship. John, for you a gold ball, the winner. Congratulations. to present the checks, Mr. J. Patrick Barrett, Chairman and CEO of Avis. Thank you, Tony. On behalf of Avis, we are proud to present the runner-up check to Yvonne Lendl. Congratulations. <laughs> and
And the winner's check from Avis to John McEnroe. Congratulations. that are not aware, the winner's check is for $160,000, runner-up $80,000. And now to present the trophy to the winner, the president of the USTA, Mr. Hunter Delator. John, congratulations on winning. This is your fourth U.S. Open title. We wish you all the best.